Can you tell us three things that you love and three things that you dislike? Three things that I love? Yeah. Her, her, and her. Bad <laughs> answer. It's a good answer? Good answer to score. Uh, good. Three things that I hate. Yeah. Oh, you are done love, yeah. Women, boxing. This is still things that I like. Yeah, yeah. All right. Still. I want. I want to make that clear. I didn't answer the second part yet. Yeah. Things that I like. Yeah. <laughs> um, women, boxing, and money. Is that a suitable yeah. answer? Is that okay? Yeah. That's Is liking that's money good. okay? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um, ambitious. Yes. Uh, dislikes. People that don't wash their hands when they leave the bathroom. Is that, is that, is that, is hand sanitizer okay? Nah, but it's kind of outside of the bathroom. You should have probably used water before you got to the door. So, so, so yeah. yeah. So hand sanitizer is like a second. It's like a secondary yeah, afterwards. Yeah, afterwards. Yeah. Okay. Just a double check. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, to, just to get rid of yeah. the rest of the bacteria. Yeah, the just top it yeah, off. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, wow. But no, I dislike. <laughs> Cold weather. Yes. Yeah. That's another good one. Oh well. <laughs> Cold Man. weather and um, welcome to England. Yes, I've <laughs> noticed. Um, rude people. Yeah. Very good. Ones, like, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's three. Is it? that three? Yeah, that's three. Okay. okay we could yeah. we could go on with that question for about a. I was getting warmed up. Like things I don't like. Like let's go. Since you've been in the UK, or your knowledge of England, can you say there are any differences between English women and American women? Oh God. <laughs> Where do we start? <laughs> <laughs> These are some great questions, yeah. by the way. Great. Um, great. Very, oh, great. Deep, very deep. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys are friendlier. Oh really? That's, That's a good thing. Are. Like seriously, just overall, Friendlier, yeah. yeah. Like for real. Like even when I uh, met um, my manager Nicole, it was interesting because um, we're in a bar and like usually, like especially in Atlanta, yeah. there's like beautiful women, but they're like really, really bad attitudes. Right. Like especially the better looking you are, to like oh, her attitudes gonna be jacked up. So I'm hanging out in a bar and I look and I see this girl come in and I'm like, oh, she looks nice. And then she just casually comes up and she's like, hi, Matt. And I'm like, there's no way she could be from here. And it was sad that because even before I really picked up on the accent, I was like, she's too pretty yeah. to be this friendly. Yeah. There's no way to she be could be from here. here. Okay. Seriously. And then, you know, we, we start talking. I'm like, oh, okay, she's cool. You're not from here, are you? Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are overall nicer. Sorry, guys. They're nicer. Just to let you know that the Over ratio here. of men to women in Nottingham is like to be like four four women to one man. Oh, man. so you guys have to be nice, basically. <laughs> 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 oh, so okay. Never mind. They they they, they don't want to be nice. They have to. I, I, I get it. So uh, wow, that's a bad ratio. That's not that good. Yeah. Slim picking. Quite harsh. Wow. Where was yeah. So what? Where was she from? She was from England. Who's oh, that? Yeah. That is my manager. Oh, no. oh. Yeah, okay. the one who actually set this interview with you. Right. Yeah, yeah. Your friend. Right. Yes. yes, that's who I'm talking about. Right. She's from okay. she's from Nottingham, England. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think I'm messing with you. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's who I was talking about. Yeah. Okay then, Matt. So being in the Housewives of Atlanta. I just had a feeling her question was just going to be the, the one. <laughs> I would have, but she grabbed the mic like. <laughs> it's my time now. <laughs> it's my time now. So being in the Housewives of Atlanta has thrown you into the spotlight. What's one of the negatives and the positives of being well known? The negatives are probably mm. dating. Okay. It's, it's, actually, it's gotten harder. Yeah. It's worse. Um, Trusting people. Yeah, trusting people. Um, if I meet a if I meet a young lady, sometimes like 
I don't know if this is weird, but they, they like pretend like they don't know yes, and try to are. find out in some abstract way. But then I kind of already know, like you already, you already know who I am. Yes. <laughs> like why play? Yeah. Yes. So then, and then some women are like, and then some are legitimately like awkward about bringing it up. But then other people believe everything that they see on TV. Yeah. So I've, I think I've missed out on some relationships or possible good situations yeah. because they're like, well, I heard you was crazy. Yes. Like, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, yeah, all right. When Nicole told me that she met you. So what? When Nicole told me that she met you, yeah. I did say to her, she said, oh, she's met you and she's got your number and that. And I said, yeah, I did say that. And she's like, it's a bit crazy. And that's the best. She's like, it's a bit crazy. Yeah, and, she, yeah, and she was like, it's so lovely. Like, it's so, so yeah. nice, like, it's so nice. And then she FaceTimed you in the nose shop. Remember? Oh, yeah, 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 when we first spoke, right? And then it was just casual, right? Was I crazy? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I was crazy. She's like, yeah. So, but, uh, what's one of the positives? <laughs> hey, I think you should give her the microphone back for that yeah, part. No. So she can repeat yeah, that. Yeah, it was crazy. The situation was crazy. A bit weird to me, but yeah, look there. Yeah, yeah. So just to be I'm clear, crazy. I was not No, you're not crazy. crazy. Okay. The situation was crazy and you was very welcoming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. you was very welcoming and humble. So um yeah, so that that, that, that makes it negative. The positives, the love. Straight up. Like yeah. I was in London, like I was in Whole Foods, and a lady runs up, we take a picture, I actually get on the phone with her husband, and he's like, Yo, bruh, we love you. I don't care what they try, whatever. I feel you. I was in a barber shop yesterday. Um Nicole took me to like some hood spots. Like, what do, you, what do you guys call it? That's on the call. ends? On the ends. Yeah, I was on the ends. I was, I was, I was the on the ends. ends. <laughs> yeah. I was there. And, um, but no, it's love. All the brothers in That's the barbershop, good. everybody that recognizes me from Uber drivers to just people walking down the street, it's always, they're always That's like, good. it's love. That's good. Yeah. I'm from us. Girls talk yeah, not. Girls yeah. talk. We show you love, we show you love. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. <laughs> Brilliant, right. Next question. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, we all love to travel. Yeah. And we wondered if you could tell us where would be the free most must have or must visit attractions in Atlanta when we come to visit our new bestie. Free? Did you say we said top free? Three. Top three. I'm oh, sorry, accent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Three. The top three. three. I'm sorry. <laughs> the three um, main attractions so then in there's Atlanta a City. So then there's a there's attractions and then there's nightlife. Nightlife. Let's go. Okay, so you want to get right to it. Okay, where are we because, going? Because I can tell you, you could go to the CNN building. Okay, you could yeah. see You could see um, the aquarium. It's aquarium one of the nicest aqu great. aquariums. Yeah, but you want to talk about clubs and night talk clubs about and... Turn it up. Turn it up. <laughs> Top yeah, three. Uh, Folly's Strip Club is probably okay. the best on the planet for you guys. See the culture is the culture is different. I don't know how it is here. It, strip clubs aren't for like a bunch of like old perverted guys. No, these are the best clubs. Women are in like yeah. So Folly's nightclub, Folly's strip club, Buford Highway. Uh, I would go during Folly's. 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 Yes. yes. Um, in the accent, right? Sweet Lounge. Sweet Lounge. Oh God, very, very grown and sexy. It has a feel similar to this. Okay. Um, Sweet Lounge, maybe um, Rose Bar. Okay, Those Rose are all, uh, yeah, they're all spread out, Never mind. I okay. thought they were all centrally located, but uh, yeah, those three were my spots, mostly when I was there. So would you definitely recommend a trip to Atlanta? Oh, I think everybody should try it. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a lot going on in my head, so I'm like, when people ask me those questions, I'm like, I think about some of the times that I've had in Atlanta, so oh, I'm like, okay. but yeah, you, I, I, would, I would definitely um, think that that's worth, that's like top two places that you should absolutely visit, yeah. yes. Okay, and um, when we come to Atlanta, would you please visit and come on Girls Talk Not visit Atlanta. Atlanta. Girls Talk Atlanta, you know what? Yeah. You guys pull up anywhere in the US, I'll pull up. Okay. I'll pull up. I'll, I will pull up. <laughs> Girls talk DC, Atlanta, New York, Orange County, oh, okay. California. We'll find you. We'll take you up on that. Yes. But now we're just girls talk not. But we're coming to coming to a city near you soon. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anything you want to ask us? One question. We need one question. One each? Oh. Just one. 
in general? I, I'm, I'm, I'm asking pretty tough questions. I think. Oh, wow. Anything you like to ask the, the English ladies? Yeah. Oh, should we do the priority, um, the priority game? So basically, we have three, three things, and you put these in order of what's more important to you. Three things that what, pardon me? Okay, so three, I'm going to give you three things three and you put them in the priority order. Oh, all right, all right. So one, two, three, okay. So, money, loyalty, love. The first two are tough. Uh, I think loyalty, love, then the money. Yeah. I'll strategically put that. Yeah. Because I think the loyalty is first mm -hmm. because then out of the loyalty you can bring you the love you can get the love from the loyalty right what right. so uh yeah love i'm sorry loyalty love didn't money there's one more but i can't remember all three can anybody else so just how about do you have a question for any of us yeah let me pose the same question to each one of you individually would you guys totally all agree with the same order yeah, that i placed yeah, it yeah, no. yeah, so it, let yeah. me throw a tougher question at you UK guys or American boys? I need to try American. I'm ready to try American. I need to try American. Are you waiting for that question? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't hear the question. Oh, you didn't hear the question? Americans are UK guys. And be careful with how you answer. Pass. You better be that It's on you now. So we got one answer. I don't think well, I've had enough experience, but from the experience that I've had, hence that I ain't got no wedding ring on my finger, so I'm saying, you American guys, or the American boys, <laughs> American boys, all day long, because we're, yeah. as we said, we're on Slim Pickens here. So I'm sure on the other side of the pond, my Mr. Rye is awaiting. Many over here are too slow. Do you think that it's because it's just something that you guys aren't used to? It's kind of like the new, it's the new kid in class. Course, course. You know what I mean? I feel that America has more opportunities and more prospects, and I feel that Americans may be more open to things. Whereas in, yeah, like, in England, we're just a bit too aggressive. still. Okay. I like um, men tend to be more relaxed in relationships in other countries than England. Yeah. I think that the men culture. bond better with women. I could, I'm probably going to get my head blown off for this when, Ameri when English <laughs> men watch it. But I feel that um, like it, American men, even Caribbean men in the Caribbean, not so much the ones who are here, um, they tend to be better lovers. Better expressive. Yeah, yeah. Expressive. more expressive and better more communicators. Confident better in that kind of way so than um, american guys no, no, american, guys. american guys are better yeah. than okay over english that, guys over good english answer guys. and that's what that's that's my that's your story you sticking <laughs> to, it. Stick <laughs> to it <laughs> and you i don't know any american guys so really? i literally wouldn't know i would probably Try one, but that sounds bad, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, if you like, if, I mean, if, if yeah, you like when this, we go there, surely we'll go there. When we go there, we'll, yeah, we'll be able to I believe it. Yeah. Different vibe, different vibe. I think they're more tentative as well. Yeah, more mature. Yes, like, really? like when you watch, that it's too hard to say that because sometimes we're basing it on what we watch on TV, which is obviously yeah. all make believe, and it's it's done in a way so that it's gets good viewings and stuff like that but generally like I see um, things on YouTube where a lady will be putting her makeup on and a man's right in the back going yeah baby that looks good you won't get in you wouldn't necessarily get English man doing that would you like in oh, the, really? do you know what I'm trying to say like they're really more expressive yeah. yes like, some of us you get a lot of it, yeah. it'll be a lot of the same stuff too yeah, yeah, yeah. but like a guy is just like you yeah, said like non-supportive with England, as we said, there's not there's a lot more women to men, so the men kind of can take advantage and be a bit more of being yeah being in scarcity because they feel like they, they've got more picking. Yeah, they are. And you have more options. Yeah. yeah. And for the English ladies, the accent helps. It does. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would. The I would. Helps. And it helps for you. It helps. And it, yeah, and vice it versa. Helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking for myself. I'm like, yes. yeah, I like helps. that. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I could get used to that. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 That's, that would be a good connection because obviously you're, it helps you. And you're helping me, you get what I mean? So a mutual exchange. Yes, no mutual robbery. Exchange. No yeah. robbery. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. So can I have other so do I have another no, question? You want another yeah. question? Yeah. yeah. I, want, I want another question. Yeah. Did you really want to ask one more? Yeah. Or you don't? Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. Go on. Go on. Um, to each one of you. Um, I'm trying to make this a. I'm trying to make this a good question. I want it to be intense. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think something good. Give me a yeah. give me a, a great question to ask. Um, <laughs> it's hard when you're on the spot. Go on, throw it out there. Yeah, just, just throw the just throw something out there. What's your strongest quality that you guys look for in a guy? If you had to just I guess if you had to choose one thing, what would each one of you individually choose? True love. You would go with respect and Respect and trust, but I'm not sure which one I'd put first. Just As one. in to trust me. One thing. One thing, respect. One what thing. Is? Well, my one thing that I desire is communication. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That is my favorite thing. Because even when it's tragic, if you're communicating, you're communicating. Even when you lie, if you communicate, you communicate. So communication is my favorite thing. I repeat, mine will be true love. Because I feel that if you truly love me, all of the what they say will happen. Oh, that's true. So I like that, I like that. True love. I'm a big communicator. <laughs> Um, okay, mine would be loyalty, definitely. Loyalty. It's really important and I think without that, nothing else matters. If you haven't got loyalty, I don't think anything else is relevant. If you're respectful or you love me the most, or you're not loyal, yeah. then it's, it could, we can't go any further. Yeah. Like, like loyal years. to me, loyal, you stick by me, stand by me, no cheating. We're one, we're together and we become one. We're loyal to each other and each other's needs and demands. So, loyal and love across. across. Love it. So, are we wrapping this up? Wrap up. Yeah. Right, thank, thank you guys. Thank, thank you for you. tuning in again to um, Girls Talk Nuts. Thank you, Matt, for thank you for joining having us in your yeah. presence. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Don't leave them hanging. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you.